Welcome back, Rivals. This is Zonia, and you are in the zone. Today, we're going to be doing five more ELO matches for this week. However, I don't have a specific deck that I want to use this week. Uh, so I thought, why don't I work on some missions? So I decided I would go in here to my LDs. I don't need really anything else with Geist, really. Uh, I've already got to five and all stars. Sylvia LD, so I need to win 20 fights with at least two Berserk. And then we have these nightmare missions as well, which I haven't started yet. So I think this week, just for fun, to try and get some missions done, I'm going to work on Berserk and Nightmare. So I need some poison cards, and I'm also going to need uh, just Berserk cards in general. Now additionally, if we look at some of the other missions, just the other week when Dudley LD was released, there was this beautiful, wonderful, amazing mission that I'm sure everyone is very excited to have to complete. Win two fights by finishing with a KO from Candy Jack in ELO. This is like the biggest troll mission ever because Candy Jack is a horrible card and to bring him into ELO, absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, so on that note, I'm going to try and see if I can get at least one of those Candy Jack KOs for you today in our five matches. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to our deck. I'm going to just build it for you now, okay? So we're looking for... Now oh, this is the really bad uh, missions that I've been working on recently, sorry. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build our deck first. So let's go to my collection. Uh, we're going to say group just the uh, best character only so that you don't have to... Sort through all my doubles, make it a little bit faster. First we said that we want to do Nightmare and Berserk. Because we're a little bit more restricted with our Nightmare cards, let's go ahead and build our Nightmare half first and then maybe that'll help us choose who we want for Berserk. Okay, so the first one we have to do is Candy Jack here. He's 3-7, he's lots of damage but there's absolutely no way that he's actually going to be able to do any of it mostly. So anyway, regardless, we're going to go ahead and put Candy Jack in here. Um, so with seven, seven damage there, if I played a whole lot of pills, I might be able to get him in. I'm going to try and go for like a surprise Candy Jack KO. That that would be maybe a little interesting if I if I was able to do that. So we're gonna have Candy Jack in there. He's four stars. That's the biggest issue here. Is he's got four massive stars. Um, I I hate the fact that he is as four stars. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw Edwin in here because I really like Edwin. I think he's a really solid three star card. Uh, he gets done what he needs to. Uh, really, really good card. And since I need KOs, I need to make sure I'm doing enough damage. I want to throw in a card like Dudley LD, but it's too many stars, so I think I'm actually going to settle instead for Orlock down here. Because if I play Orlock first, I can still get this, this two, but for only three stars. I don't want Bill because Bill is only one. So we're going to go ahead and put Orlock in here to try and increase our chances. Oh, is Oshitsune free this week? Is he free this Oh, that is that is excellent. Okay, maybe we can sneak in some KOs with Oshitsune. Okay, I guess, I guess that's... Well, if we're going to do that, if I'm going to, if I have, if Oshitsune is available this week, then I'm going to remove Edwin because I don't want two power manipulations. If I run against SOA, I get absolutely wrecked. So I think uh, I want to free up a couple more stars, so I'm probably just going to stick artists in because I need some DR. And so that's going to be my, my first half. Okay, so that's going to be my half deck for now. So let's let's take a look. So our half deck right now is going to be Candy Jack, Artist, Orlock, and Oshitsune, which is a total of 13 stars. Um, we've got two 7 damage cards, which could KO with each other in ELO. Um, the issue here is that people are going to know that Candy Jack is going for that KO. And I'm going to have to play Candy Jack late with Berserk if I decide to do Berserk. So actually, it's probably not a good idea to do Berserk because I, I want to play Candy Jack early if possible. I don't want to set up Candy Jack and then 
Well, maybe I still can get away with it if people think that I'm not actually going to go all in with him. The problem is that a lot of people know about this, and so they're they're going to know that I'm, I'm going all in with Candy Jack, and that's that's the biggest issue right now, is getting these ELO KOs when people know that that's going to happen. And I only need two, but some people are really whiny, and they will quit the game early, which means that if I don't actually get the KO with Candy Jack, if they go all in and I block and then... Uh, they, they decide to just leave early, then it, it doesn't matter. I don't actually get credit for the Candy Jack KO, which is something I really wish that they would they would fix. Uh, why did this... No, not doubles. Goodness, that's still pretty much all my cards. Um, best characters, again... So we need we need a 12 star. We've got 13 stars in our, our other half, so we need 12 in this half. Um, we had a really good half deck the other day. I actually have a mission with Marjorie, but if I've only got 12 stars, I don't want a 5 star Marjorie in the deck, most likely. Um, who do I want, then? Who do I want? Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna stick Rudy in here. Because uh, Rudy's got another defeat, which means it's going to be easier for other cards to actually KO. Um, yeah, that's right. I haven't leveled up my Sylvia LD. I've had her for forever. Never, never level up, level, leveled her up because I just don't like her as a, a three-star card. This doesn't make any sense. So I'm not tempted to groom my deck if I don't <laughs> if I don't have her up there. I got Rudy. I mean, if I just go straight power, I could get completely wrecked. At 12 stars, 9 stars left. 9 stars left. I gotta make sure that I can actually KO with with my cards, though. That's... I mean, I, it, it just doesn't make sense to not put... I mean, Lola should be in there. That's, that's a, pretty much a gimme. 14 life in yellow. 14 life. If I have seven, I need to be able to do at least five damage so that I could KO. I mean, that may actually be a better route to go for me, is making it so that it looks like I would have to Fury with Candy Jack in order to, to get the points in. So, why don't we... Oh, uh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Um, maybe we can force some pills with Kalamashi. Five, it's five damage, which is what I needed as well. Just go with all three star cards here. It, it's, there's no need to, to do anything else, really. I wish I could stick Clive in there, but he's, he's just not going to fit. Okay, so we need another three star card. Um, I like Flush. Jeffrey's also pretty solid. I've already got a lot of... Um, power manipulation, but continuing on the power manipulation trend would be, uh, not be a bad idea. It might also be good if I had Lola Noel because of the damage protection, but if I just want damage protection then I might as well go with Vivian, but I don't need the extra from Vivian so there's no reason for that. Uma does a lot of damage. A lot, but again, she's just she's just seven. I'd really like a three star with more than just seven on them. I want to actually make this uh, a worry. Some things. I guess I'm gonna go with misery. I know a lot of people may not like her confidence, but uh, if I decide to go with Candy Jack early and I do win the round, I could try and plan out how many I need with misery in order to. Uh, Misery needs to go first. It doesn't make a lot of sense to have Misery, but I may not actually draw Candy Jack. I may not actually end up with Candy Jack, so... Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, and I wasn't even following my own advice. I wasn't even following my own advice. Okay, uh, this is nightmare. I may love, I may love Oshitsune, but I need to do that, that poison damage, don't I? I need that poison damage. So if I, if I need to do poison damage, if I'm gonna try and do these, these missions as well, 
Usually it's not a good idea to try and do missions, but uh, what poison cards do I have available right now? What cards can I actually use? We got basically just Seth and Timmy. I guess I should stick Timmy in my deck. Tane is not a bad, bad idea either. Are there any other poison cards? I mean, I'd love to stick carrying in there, but obviously I can't. I'd love to put Azel or Azel in there, but I can't do that either. Alright, so it looks like my best bets are going to be these two guys. And I might be able to get some surprise stuff with Candy Jack if if I can do this. So, why don't I... Why don't I do this, and then... Can I stick Bill in there? I did. I'm just thinking, how do, how do I get the KO? Like that's, that's what I really need. It's the KO that I'm looking for here. And the longer I keep Candy Jack in my hand, the longer I'm in trouble. Yeah, I better just... I better not do the, uh, the poison. There's, there's no way I'm going to be able to work both Poison and Candy Jack KOs into this. I'd really love to. I think that'd be that'd be a good challenge, but it's it's definitely not going to happen. So, uh, anyway, let's look at our Berserk half. Is this is this really what we, we want to go with this week? Let's pull out all these horrible cards. Nope. Artis is not a horrible card. Ironic that I would say let's pull them out and then I remove Artis. Okay, so by all means, this is not necessarily a good deck, folks. Uh, I, I would not, I would not necessarily recommend actually doing this. Um, but we've got, we've got our type ELO. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. The goal is to set up Candy Jack for the two hit KO. Um, that's our main, our main goal, and we can do that through these guys, and then throwing off on Orlock, uh, winning with one, throwing off with Orlock or Rudy. Uh, DRing with artists, coming in with Candy Jack when I feel I've actually got a shot. Probably gonna have to lose a few before I can actually win with Candy Jack. Or I mean, I guess I guess we'll just we'll see. All right, so let's get to it. We got our five matches for this week. So let's head on in to ELO. Thankfully this week, I think I'm actually recording my voice as opposed to uh, last time. Real bummer. As you can see, uh, I'm currently at just 1,000 ELO. Those are all from last week. Uh, so let's let's get our five matches in for today. Maybe not, depending on whether or not uh, I can find anyone for quick battle. <laughs> Maybe ELO knows that I've got Candy Jack in my deck, and it's it's trying to save me from the embarrassment of uh, five horrible losses. Wow, no one for quick battle twice in a row. What's going on, you are? Oh, only 98 players in ELO right now. Wow. That is... Uh... That is interesting. Okay, we finally got one. Okay, so as always when we start, I like to try and take a quick look over everything that we've got here. We've got Gladez, um, level 107. Looks like we've got for damage, we've got four, maybe five, four, and two. One DR, uh, Courage, Growth, Revenge, versus our four, three, Seven four. We we did get Candy Jack, so uh, I guess we could try for that KO here if we if we're feeling particularly uh, <laughs> adventuresome. Okay, so when I look at this, um, honestly, it, it's not looking too good for me right now. I don't like leading first. It's not it's not putting me in a good position. Uh, I've got a okay amount of damage. I guess I should probably start with Lola. 
Uh, not really high. It'd be great to have Lola in first before Orlock. Um, however, the reason I'd like Lola in before Orlock is because then uh, I can either play Orlock to win or to lose, depending on how I want to on the next round. Um, hopefully, Lola will not. Uh, Lola will probably not cause him to pill too much, though. Probably won't pick Kali, he wants to save the growth for later. Probably won't play Dreadlash because of the revenge. Karner Vet is absolutely out because of Courage. Nilo is the best option that he has, which is going to reduce me to just three damage. Uh, but that is going to be okay if I throw Orlok. So I'm going to put two pills on it because I'm expecting a one pill Nilo. He could go with Kali, okay? Glidez could definitely throw Kali. Uh, only going to get one pill from that, but given his hand right now, he doesn't really have such an awesome idea, uh, su such an awesome draw for that. My guess is he's probably going to throw Nilo because then that will synergize really well into Dreadlash. The problem is that's going to leave Karnerved for later, which means that I can hold on to my artist for a bit in order to make sure that I keep him at two damage. Because this is Lola, again, he's not going to throw off a lot. He's not going to get any damage with any of these guys, so it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense for, for Gledas to throw anything other than Nilo. And if he's feeling, you know, adventuresome, he may throw one pill, but probably he will. Old or zero pill Nilo. Oh, okay, well then. I'm really surprised you decided to do Kali. And, of course, three pills. All right. Unfortunate for me, because I, I kind of need that damage, but... Uh only done one so far so that's that's good news dreadlash still is only at seven he can lead with karner ved now that's the i guess the advantage to playing with kali because karner ved can now be played with courage um or if he wants to be really okay yeah there's the karner ved okay so we've got karner ved coming at us probably expecting artists um i'm not gonna expect him to put too much on it he is aware that all of these are stop op bonus so he's not going to get any pills back he may actually think that i'm going to throw candy jack so honestly i think here it's it's going to be better for me to just see the problem is that if i wait nilo is just going to block candy jack i have no chance of getting the two hit ko with candy jack he's probably aware of that or he may just be wondering why on earth i have candy jack um I'm going to have to go in pretty far in order to even have a shot at winning this. I want to say it's not even worth doing a, uh, another pill, but he's probably two-pilled Carnerved. I mean, he's got, he's got a pill lead right now. There's no reason for him not to, but I'm going to see if I can catch him with only 14. We'll see. Candy Jack. Ugh, 28. All right. Well, that's that. See, this is the real downside to having Candy Jack and then not drawing anything else because he is my one large four-star card. There's just, there's just nothing else I can do. I should have I should have thrown Artist there. Um, it would have been a lot smarter to do that, but because I'm going for the Candy Jack mission, uh, you know, I didn't I didn't really have any other choice. I felt like but to uh, try and unload Candy Jack since I lost with Lola uh, early there. Um, so let's see. He even put 28 on it. I don't think I could have. Uh, I won that. I would have needed 10 pills. <laughs> I mean, I could have won, but it would have been really painful. Okay, um... I think at this point, it's it's over. There's there's no way I can win this, so... Uh, I'll just... I'll just throw Orlock. There, I mean, there's there's honestly no way I can win this right now, because as soon as I win, all he has to do is throw Nilo and then follow up with Dreadlash. He's got a two-pill lead on me. So unless Gledez is a level 107 person who is completely unable to understand how how the world works and everything in it functions, um, this this is the end. And it, it didn't matter which which person I threw first. It didn't matter any of that. It's uh, it was over. Probably after round one, I should have probably put one more on Lola just in case the Kali play was made, which obviously it was. Um, so next time, uh, what I would recommend if you get yourself in a hand like this is to change your deck. Um, <laughs> okay, so obviously we can't do that right now. Um, I would say probably I should have played a little, uh, a few more pills on Lola. 
in order to try and counter that Kali, but you knew that it was going to be a low pill opening play. There was no reason for it to be a whole lot of pills. He knows that I have Candy Jack in my hand, that I'm going to have to deserve my pills. And so I probably should have been a little more reckless with my pill play, uh, just to try and catch him off guard in order to give me even a shot. Now another thing that really s was unfortunate this time was that I, I was I was three and one. I didn't get I didn't get my bonus from uh, Lola. I think if I would have had the extra two damage expected there from Lola, I probably would have played a few more. But I was uh, I guess a little tempted to to try and pull it a little bit closer because Lola only did four damage if she won instead of the six if her bonus had been active. So. Again, unfortunate. We'll see. We'll see. So we're, we're, we're at 0 and 1, which is to be expected with these Candy Jack. But the, the good news is is that everyone I lose puts me lower on the totem pole, which means I should play someone a little bit easier. Except now we have Naginata. Awesome. So there's absolutely no way that I can lead with, like, any of these cards fairly well. <laughs> Okay, so again, I have to play first, which is absolutely horrible. This this is the worst thing that could have happened. Eh, not the worst, but all right. So here we've we've got uh, again level 44. So fine, uh, you can expect that there's going to be a decent play from this player. At least um, we've got six, four, seven, three. We've got one major DR. We've got Naginata, which is a 50-50 opening round play, um, followed with Arnie just completely destroying. Since this is ELO, my guess would be it's going to be a low pill Naginata because if uh, a low to medium pill play because a large doesn't really do any any good uh, for this player. The one bonus that I do have right now is that I'm I'm going to stop the damage on most of these, even though I am still split three and one. Getting kind of tired of this. You are. I'm supposed to have an 87% chance of this happening. Uh, of, of getting both and it's not happening. If I lead with Oshitsune, then he just chucks Sabia and I'm I'm done. If I throw Orlock, he low pills on Ag Naginata and completely destroys me. I can't play Misery first. Candy Jack is not an option. And so because I, I need to try and save Oshitsune, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw Orlock. I'm gonna go with uh, 24 because that's gonna be a two pill Naginata more than that and I'm just gonna lose even more. Um, I'm just gonna hope that he pills only like one or two on Naginata, expecting me to kind of just ditch my Orlock and play nothing on it. Because I took so long, he probably expects me to play a few pills on Orlock. Wouldn't surprise me to see four or five pills on Naginata. Yep, there we go. So maybe my best my best move there probably would have been just to play nothing, because since I took so long, he knew that I wasn't probably just gonna chuck Orlock and hope for the best. Um, this does put me at a pill disadvantage. I did take two life though, so that's uh, it's a side side bonus, I guess. Um, I think at this point, what I've really got going here for me is I've got I've got Oshitsune, and then Candy Jack can. Follow, or, or Oshitsune can follow up after Candy Jack, um, but the problem here again is, is still is the Sabia. God, good lord. Um, so with Oshitsune, the good thing is I'm under Dean's Min, so um, I'm either going to be Dean or Sabia, which means they're both going to be at 3 power. Uh, even if he had all his pills, if he 0 pills Arnie, that's going to be 10, which is going to be 30, which I can't even cover. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is, this is a whole lot of unfortunate here. Uh, I think... I guess we'll just, we'll see if he zero-pilled Arnie, which wouldn't surprise me if he just zero Yeah, there we go, this is 40. <laughs> okay. You know, my only hope here is Oshitsune in the misery, and uh, he's probably expecting me to to low pill with Oshitsune, so I'm actually gonna 5, let's see, 5 times 3 is gonna be 15. So he may not know that I can I can still take him out with, with misery the next one, because it makes sense here to me, if I were the opponent, I would expect Oshitsune to be played with few pills, just to try and, you know, trap me. Uh, because I know that I can definitely win with Misery, and so I would go all in with Dean or Sabia. 
here. Uh, there is still a chance that I could potentially win this match. Uh, we'll see. Again, this I guess this is kind of a 50-50. There's the, the, safe, the safe play, which is the zero-filled Sabia. Uh, and then I could have won if I played the other way around again. But, you know... I guess I, I was not convincing enough, or he was feeling a, a little a little safer with with his Sabia in the wings to to give him at least a tie. I guess uh, if I had, if I had looked at that a little closer, maybe I would have I would have realized he he had that that tie if I did this because I with ten power that would have been uh, more than enough to have more power than Dean. I had more pills than him, so could have tied it up that way. Uh, at least gotten a tie for for my second round. Uh, probably would have been a little smarter to try for that, but I was hoping that he would be a little risky. Um, and since we're since we're doing the uh, the horrible mission today of trying to get two KOs in ELO with Candy Jack, good lord, this is a horrible mission. Um, we've we've lost two in a row. We're down to ELO 981. Um, let's move on to our third match for today. Ice Blizzard, level 30. Level 30, okay. And thankfully, it looks like we've got we've got quite a few six power cards here, which means that Candy Jack will only have to play twice as many pills instead of more than twice as many pills in order to win. Um, we have Leviathan, Methane Hell, and Kenny CR. Um, Again, lots of low power here, but I'm I'm not faring any better because I did not draw any of my my decent cards. <laughs> Holy, oh, this is horrible! You're driving me crazy. Uh, I hate this mission. Um, so we've got Lola here, who I'm basically going to want to play against either Methane or Hell. Uh, we've got Orlock, which we're going to want to chuck against Methane or Hell as well. Kenny CR, I'm pretty much gonna want to hit with Artis, which means Leviathan versus Candy Jack is my best, my best matchup given the other cards. Thankfully, he has to play first. Um, the problem here with this hand, even more so, is that Candy Jack can't two hit KO with with anyone. I mean, even if I throw Candy Jack at full and then I I, I chuck Orlock with zero. Um, that's still only going to be nine, which means that I can't I can't win with Lola unless I. Okay, so I'm expecting I'm expecting Kenny Cr to have a couple pills on him. Hopefully this guy plays a bunch of pills. That that was ideal. That's the kind of thing that I need to see if this is going to work at all. But the problem is is now he has even more life. Uh, he's at 18. 70. 15. I'm gonna have to fury twice in order to win this. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right. Well, we're not we're not gonna get the candy jack KO. That's for sure. Um, honestly, probably my best bet right now is is if I could play candy jack and try and and beat methane but the problem is methane's gonna do 42 i can only hit 39 with candy jack i can't even throw candy jack out because i don't have enough pills um so i guess what i'm probably gonna do here is i'm gonna throw orlock and i'm gonna hope for methane i'm gonna hope for a big methane pill um so seven times six we're gonna we're gonna throw seven here if he does uh i'm, I'm not gonna be a ko i mean i basically have to give up my my hopes of ko and uh which is something I should have realized as soon as I saw the both Kenny CR and Hell were were in his hand. Um, there's basically just there's no way for me to go pill for pill and get two two Furies in. Um, yeah, it's just not gonna happen. Not with Candy Jack. Oh, if only he had played a little bit more. Oh, Kenny CR. But it doesn't make any sense for him to do that. Well, we do see methane come out. That's that's great. Oh, and only two pills. Okay, that's fine. Still have a slight pill lead, but Candy Jack is not not doing us any favors here. Thankfully, I do not have to play Candy Jack first. Um, the problem, though, is that with him playing first, what all, all he basically needs to realize is he plays like two what two two pills um there's 
pretty much no way I can beat him. If he plays two pills, I guess I could still tie. No, because that would still put him back at uh, four, and I would only be at three. So my only way, my only way to come ahead in this whatsoever is, uh, he's got 30, I can only do 21. I've, I've got to assume that he's low-pilled. Hell, I, I have to. Uh, this is the only way that I can, I can win this, and then because I'll go first with Lola. Basically, if he's done anything other than an old, oh, oh my goodness. Why can't it just be two wins with Candy Jack? Why does it have to be two KOs? Well, you can see now we're tied with pills, but because we have the same star count and I go first, I will win with Lola, uh, which means that we have we have won this we have won this round. Which I, mean, I, I guess that's a nice thing, but uh, we were three three off. If it hadn't been Kenny CR, but then he probably wouldn't have furied and ended up playing eight pills on round one. So it's kind of the, the trade-off that you get there. If I had had more damage output, maybe I would have been in a better situation here. Uh... Oh. Well, yay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to win this. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Ice Blizzard. Uh, everyone's going to see me beat you with Candy Jack. Um... Okay, so let's let's move on to our fourth match. <laughs> let's let's not dwell on it too much. Uh, we've we've still got two KOs to go. Uh, only two more to go out of two. Oh, sea Beast, ha! <laughs> Take that, Sea Beast. You can't do anything to Candy Jack. You got nothing on Candy Jack. Uh, okay, so um, we have no DR, so that's awesome. We got Mr. Ultra Game, level 41. Um, we got Sea Beast, Dia, Gats, and Carner Ved. Lots of stuff. Gats is going to have growth, which is going to be a real pain later. Uh, we've got Carner Ved, which will not be led. So if I play now, it won't play Carner Ved. He probably won't play Gats because of the growth. I don't think he would lead with Sea Beast, though he might, um, because I've already got a lot of low power. So there's really no reason for him not to. Uh, he's going to be hesitant to play his pill, so he may not lead with Sea Beast. Probably gonna see a Dia opening. So with the Dia opening, especially if I throw Lola, it's probably gonna be a Dia opening. I think what I might be able to do is lead with Lola, Chuck Rudy, lead Oshitsune, and then win with. Candy Jack? We'll see. Okay. Um, he will get pills back if I if I throw Lola though. So this is 14. That would stop a one extra pill on Dia. It's probably gonna play more than one pill. I want to make sure I get this this damage in. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna do this because 28. 28 means that if he three pills Dia. Um, we will tie, and so I'll win. It would make more sense for him to three pill Dia than just one pill. So I'm hoping for a Dia opening. He may, he may chuck Sea Beast. Um, seeing Rudy, knowing that I have Lola available, he's probably going to want to force that uh, worry for the two hit KO. So, you know, Vortex might not be a bad idea to pair with with these guys because of being able to throw in people like Sea Beast. There's the Dia, pl the Dia play. Three pills? Four pills? Oh, I only did two. I could have thrown Lola. Okay, anyway, still, the good news is, is I've now done six, six damage. Um, now, basically, what I have to decide is... Do I want to chance it? Do I want to chance it? Because... Probably gonna lead Carner Ved. But is he gonna assume, and this is the issue with having a strong card like Oshitsune in your hand, you know, I'm getting back bitten no, no, no matter what I do here. Um, he knows that I have both Lola and Oshitsune. He's probably not expecting a Candy Jack play, which is good. But the problem is, is, is he expecting me to old? 
or is he expecting me to uh, go all in basically with Oshitsune? Let's see. So if I if I did play Oshitsune, just if I, if I wasn't playing for Candy Jack missions, uh, Carnarvon would be three thirty nine. I could I could win this and take him down to to one one life, which he would then be. You know, easy. It'd be easy enough for him to to just wreck me with Sea Beast. As long as I have Oshitsune, he will he will behave with Sea Beast. And so I think what I'm gonna do here for my overall best bet, I'm gonna I'm gonna chuck Lola. I think Chuck and Lola because if he goes in with Carner Ved, I didn't. Ugh. Like Ten pills left. Seven could have been twenty one. Yeah, so he stopped. He he covered the candy jack play. Uh, thanks, thanks for that. Um, and now it's my turn to play. And now that he has less, see the problem here is if I play candy jack, he can cover it. But because I've got Oshitsune, maybe he won't. Here's the issue is he's, he's, I mean, this is my only hope right now. I mean, really, this is, this is basically it. Uh, actually, maybe I should have played Oshitsune first. But then if he only kept one with Gats, because the problem here is now Gats is going to be, next round, Gats is going to be a 20. It's going to be minus 20. Um, and so even if I took him down a bit, my, my only hope here is either... Uh, because he's not going to let me KO him. I mean, that's ridiculous. He knows, though, that if he plays Gats, that Oshitsune should be able to beat Sea Beast. And Oshitsune will beat Sea Beast. So he has to decide whether or not I'm actually going for the Candy Jack or if I'm I'm going to try and win with Oshitsune. Oshitsune. And so uh, my hope is that he thinks I'm trying to, to trick him or he doesn't know that there's a Candy Jack KO. I've reached 21 right now, 15 and 20 with Gats. If he just plays one more pill with Gats, then he he wins. Um, if he throws off on Sea Beast, because his best bet to win is actually to play Sea Beast instead of Gats, uh, because Gats will be able to take care of Oshitsune much more easily. And so I'm hoping here, if I see Sea Beast, it means that I've won. If I see Gats, I probably lost. Unless he just chucked off on Gats. Oh, 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 yes! Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, oh it's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas in October. It's Christmas in October. One, one down. One down. One down. One, I'm, I'm so sorry, Mr. Mr. Ultra Game. Um, I'm just gonna assume that you gave me that match. I'm just gonna assume that you let me you let me win that one. So thank you for being kind and letting me win that because this uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, so we got really lucky on that match, guys. Really lucky. I mean, you're, you're just gonna have to get lucky with Candy Jack. That's just the way it works. Um, and you know you can't even put an extra more than one Candy Jack in your deck because it's yellow. Um, here we've got we've got a, a whole bunch of Raptors, fantastic, um, high power. Uh, so again, level 65, fine. He's got seven, six, eights, way way outpowering me in pretty much everything. We've got a whole bunch of cast can cancel op attack modification and stuff. Um, so here, one of the things I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to lead with Kamashi because it, it doesn't. Excuse me. It doesn't even doesn't even really matter. Um, we're not gonna see so here. We're not gonna see Oakley. That's for sure. We'll probably see Annie, um, and I'm okay with Annie being played. Uh, Rattle. Actually, if I want to keep Rattle from being played, because Rattle against Kalamashi would be his best bet, and he could just wreck me there. Um, I probably actually want to lead with Lola, uh, because the damage modification doesn't apply to Lola. Um, for any of this because there's no damage modification it's life modification uh, full life modification thankfully Ryujin isn't here um, and I can throw a couple yes Annie's going to be a perfect response uh, but I'm still going to be able to do a couple points of damage maybe um, 
I'm gonna try and hope. I'm gonna hope that there's only a two pill on Annie. It would make sense to put two on Annie, uh, just to try and get the four in. Um, I'm really expecting Annie again. We're not gonna see Oakley because of the courage. We could see Lenora. We really, I mean, we, honestly, here we could see Lenora. Um, and then we have Rattle, who will probably not be played because of my defeat ability. Oakley, because what? Why would you play Rattle? Why? Why would you do that? Oh, okay. Well, what? Whatever. Whatever you say, man. Um, uh, I'll be. I'll be honest. I have. I have no idea why. Why you would do that? It. It seems very almost foolhardy to me to to throw Rattle first for only two damage. Um, I guess he's expecting Oakley to be able to come back and, and help him out later. Um, maybe he expected my Lola to have uh, a decent attack on it. I think if I played Lola faster, maybe I would have seen that that Annie play. Um, I guess probably he's trying to save his DR for later. Generally, people like to save their DR for later in the match. And so uh, I, I could see him not, not coming out and just playing Annie right away. Um, so let's see, his next best move, probably... It's, it's either going to be Oakley or Lenora. There's no reason to throw Annie whatsoever. Um, okay, so he's gonna he's gonna save it. We pretty much know the order that that people are gonna come out after this. Um, so we've got Lenora here. He knows that I don't have a whole lot of stuff. He's probably expecting Kawamashi here because this is the only one that I can play against these guys. So if he's expected Kawamashi, then that means he knows that I would only have Orlock or Candy Jack. If I have Orlock, um, that's 6. Even if I kept everything here, that would only be 60, which means that he would definitely be able to win with Oakley. He could play one pill. So I'm, I'm actually going to be super risky here. No, there's, there's, there's just no way. There's no way with Candy Jack. <laughs> there's just no way that this is happening. Um, because this is basically my only chance to win. This is my only chance to win with, with Candy Jack. I'm not going to be able to win around with Candy Jack after this. Um... I knew he was only gonna do 16. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Cause that one pill, you guys, you guys heard me call it. But I, I, I don't have that many pills that I can commit to Candy Jack. I do not have, you know, seven pills that I can just be like, oh, okay, sure, I'll, I'll give you or six, six pills. Yeah, sure, I'll give you, I'll give you six pills. Uh, not when I, not when I lost with Lola on round one. Uh, I guess I probably should have just played Lola with, with no pills on the first round. Um, I'm still really shocked that he played Rattle instead of Annie. Wow. Um, it's just something for me to, to, to remember for next time around. Um, and this is this is all but over. I mean, there's there's pretty much no way to win this. So um, no matter how I how I play it, he's got he's got more pills than me. Um, so all he has to do is is throw Annie and then follow up with Oakley, and it's over. Um, so good game. If I had played Kawamashi with nothing, that would have been enough to to beat Lenora. If I had played. Uh, Orlock with just a few, that would have been that would have been enough. But then there's no way that I would have been able to get get over around Annie or uh, get the actual damage in against uh, anybody else. So here for Candy Jack, it looks like you, you've really got to take advantage of that that one surprise round, especially if you have to lead, which is not what you want to be doing ever. I should have probably come into ELO with a really super low star deck. Um, maybe if I if I came in with a really low star deck, then the problem is you come in with a low star deck, you can't actually get that KO off. Uh, really, really unfortunate. Um, yeah. I really need a clan that's gonna force force pills to be played. Um, anyway, so here here we go. You know, it doesn't matter. You know. Okay, so uh, those were our, our five matches for this week. Um, I think I'm going to continue in ELO 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying to uh, get that that second KO, and um, I will let you know when when we get there. So uh, that's all for today. We've had an interesting <laughs> couple matches here. Um, that was five, right? Let's let's head back. I don't I don't remember if that was just four or if that was five. Yep, that was five. Okay, so uh, we did manage to to win two matches. Uh, we went uh, two and and two and three, uh, which is kind of amazing considering I think I drew Candy Jack in every single one of my hands, um, and we're above 1,000 ELO. So if I wanted to, we could go ahead and stop here, and that would be it for for the week. Um, thanks again for watching. Um, again, if I manage to get that other Candy Jack KO, I'm gonna tack that on here right at the end after. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope the commentary was was somewhat interesting or useful, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. So. Uh, if you like this video, then please make sure to like, favorite, and share it. And uh, if you really like this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe for more of my Urban Rivals videos. This is Zonia, and you've been in the zone. Okay, well, maybe we have a chance this time. Tom is going to be actually getting that KO. Doing 14 damage is not going to be easy. If I hit with Siblia early, then Orlock. And then I can try and finish off with Candy Jack at the end. But. I don't know if that's actually going to happen realistically. <coughs> I still have to stick with my plan. I can't play him early because. Jack. And here with other high levels would have let me get lots of high star characters, but it's not working out that way so far. Pretty much just getting my butt kicked. Pretty much just getting my butt kicked. Sucks about to eat. my best chance at this point is just to go all in with Candy Jack. And the sad thing again is that that's, that's only 21. Which, which is absolutely useless. Only 21. So this is, this is why this is literally like one of the worst missions UR could have created. Are you kidding me? It worked? I cannot believe this. Thank goodness. That, that should not have worked. I'm, I'm so happy this is done. I'll never play Candy Jack again. This was absolutely horrible. I'm not okay with this decision on your part. You are. This, this should never have been a mission. Ever. Ever. Thank 
goodness it was done. It only took me about 15 more games and a deck switch.